A lot of you guys have already seen our Catadyne water filter. This is the filter that we use for all of our drinking water and coffee water here in Indonesia. This is the filter we have right here. It's called the Drip Ceradyne and according to the manufacturer, right, it is suitable for large groups of people, for groups up to five people. And uh, what else? Oh, it's suitable for extremely dirty water, daily use or frequent use. What's also interesting, according to the manufacturers, it can filter up to 150,000 liters of water. That's around 37,000 gallons of water. So guys, even though this thing can last like a lifetime, it needs to be cleaned out sometimes. This is what it looks like in there. This is the result of tap water here in Yogyakarta. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean out this section right here. All right, so we got this guy here and we wanna take him outside and uh, use the garden hose and just clean them out. So basically what you wanna do is just kinda spray in here, right, and use your hand and kinda clean it out, right? It's all brown and yucky in there right now. We want it to be nice and clean when we're done. See that? That's the grossness of tap water here. All right guys, so that is a lot better. You can also use like a rag like this to clean it out in there as well, but you don't want to use any soap or any kind of chemicals or anything. Right? Just use your hand or just use a clean rag and clean it out in there. And don't be surprised if it gets stained. Right, like that stuff in there won't come out. It's just stained like that. All right, and another thing guys, these are what are called ceridine filters, meaning they do not have a activated carbon core, which means they'll last for basically ever, like a lifetime, 150,000 liters, right? Can be filtered through these filters. If you get the gravidine filters, it's cool because they come with the activated carbon, but they only last like six months and then the activated carbon doesn't work anymore and you're really supposed to change them out. So get these ones without the activated carbon that last you a lifetime. Now, if your filters get so dirty that they stop actually filtering water, right? These are supposed to filter about, I think four liters or about a gallon an hour. And so if they get really clogged because you're using really dirty water, then they give you a green scrubby pad that you can use to scrub them down and like, um, you know, really clean them up good. But the more you do that, the shorter their lifespan is. They give you a feeler gauge, right? It looks like a C. If the feeler gauge fits over the filter at any point, then you need to throw it away and replace the filter, right? So if you don't have to use the scrubby pad, don't use it. It'll shorten the life of your filter a lot. So you wanna, you wanna use fairly clean water. I don't mean clean as in like bacteria free because that's its job is to remove bacteria, but meaning clean water, like clear water. The clearest water you can use is what you wanna put in here. If you can filter it first, like if you're getting water out of say a pond or a river, if it's really brown, if you could like let it settle in a bucket first and let the, let the sediment get out of it and then put it in the filter, that'd be much better than just putting it straight in the filter, right? The clearer the water, the better. You remember that I was telling you that the Ceridine filters don't have activated carbon in them, right? But you can add it to the filters. I have a big bag of activated carbon right here, and I'll show you how I add it to my filter. All right, so the filter right now is upside down, right? Normally, it would go like this, and you'd fill this part up here with water, and then it would slowly drip out of these little nozzles right here into the bottom water container. Now, with it upside down, I have these little plastic containers. These are actually just Mentos containers and uh, poke some small holes in the bottom here. Then we're gonna fill this up with activated carbon. All right, there we go. It's full now with the activated carbon. We just push that closed. You see this hole right here? It just snaps right on top of here like that. And then when you put it on the water filter, the water goes through the activated carbon. And so we're gonna put one of these on these other two as well. All right guys, it's all done. It's ready to go back on the uh, base here. So this is what the base looks like. I just drained all of the water out of it. And so we put this guy back on top. Looks like that. 
And then all you do is you just fill up the top part right here with water. It'll slowly drip down here into the bottom and this is clean, safe drinking water. This thing will make you drinking water for a lifetime if you take care of it. And so if you're interested in a filter like this, there's a link down in the description of this video where you can find it. And uh, also if activated carbon, right? That's really easy to find. You can find it in a lot of different places, but there'll be a link down in the description as well where you can find activated carbon if you want to make your own little carbon filters for this catadine water filter.